Hey YouTubers, I'm Larry. I'm going to talk to you today about Micro Steps Start THC Torch Height Controller Digital. Now I have purchased a CNC machine from China. It was from J-Cut, and I added an American plasma source to it, a Hypertherm PowerMax 85. There was zero documentation on this, and the support was even worse than zero from China. But I had a problem right from the get-go. And I know it's common because I've seen other people on the internet that have had the same problems. The only thing I didn't find on the internet was how to solve the problems. Okay, we're gonna cut out this piece to show you that the uh, THC is not working correctly. So that's where I come in. Now, when you start this plasma cutter, the torch will want to lift immediately. And this is after we have all of our cables connected correctly to the arc strike signal, and you know it's igniting, everything's working great. The machines should be talking to each other, but they're not. After doing multiple tests on the voltage, I discovered that the voltage that I was sending the machine, which I knew was 50 to one, because Hypertherm comes with a 50 to one arc strike divider built into the Hypertherm PowerMax. So I realized that China does not have those in their plasma cutters. They have a one to one arc strike signal. Now I could easily go into the machine, the, the plasma machine, and actually carry the one-to-one -one strike signal back to my start controller, but that's, that's dangerous. You're carrying up to 300 volts down a very, very small wire. I don't even think it's 20 gauge. Uh, it's not circuit protected whatsoever, so you're running into a few problems. Issues of either melting your wire up, uh, and of course safety issues. 300 volts is enough to hurt somebody, and I don't know what the amperage is on it or nothing, but we're gonna make it so it carries 50 to one from the Hypertherm PowerMax, the way it's designed, and it's gonna decipher in the start THC controller card. I will go ahead and show you all of this on the CNC machine itself. Right. Okay, the voltage divider card that comes with the FAST system is located in the back of your CNC panel. It is right here. This is your card. If you pull these two screws off right here and here, this cage comes off. And then you have two more screws to pull the card off. Be sure that you uh, label your cords accordingly so you don't lose place of them. And keep in mind, these two cords here are 220 volts. So be sure to unplug your CNC controller from your circuit. You can tell if your card was running either on one to one or 50 to one by where the wire was sent. China had mine sent to 50 to one. So that means it was taking the full arc ratio of one to one and converting it down to 50 to one. Now, since I'm doing the converting on my hypertherm plasma source and I had to resolder my wire in this motherboard, now I go to the one to one ratio port. So I'll set 50 to one to here, it'll go straight through the card, go to the comm, so there's no dividing necessary. I have a card in my hand that was uninstalled. Now this card, it's an easy fix. There is a location on here that we have to move, we have to reposition. It's a jumper wire. This jumper wire right now is set to receive a one to one signal ratio from a Chinese power source and it converts it down to 50 to one, and then it sends it to the THC so it functions correctly. We're gonna convert this. We're gonna make it so it's designed to receive a 50 to one signal, and there is no conversion whatsoever. It'll carry that straight through to the THC. China has no documentation on this. These cards are very common. They're out there. It starts micro step THC. All right, the soldering job went off without a hitch, no problems, it's pretty simple. Disconnect JP2, connect JP1. Now I was noticing on this board here, it's in Mandarin, but if you read right here, it actually says on the board, one to one, JP1, 50 to one, JP2. Just to make sure you understand, this is in reverse. On the card, it says a one to one. That means you are sending it a 50 to one 
from your power source. Now, if you're on the 50 to 1 jumper, then the card is dividing the power, which would be 1 to 1 from your power source. So don't get these two confused. So we're 1 to 1 right now. All right, now. now with our plasma source on, you can see that our THC now has an LED panel. So we're going to go in here and we're going to set our voltage. According to the hypertherm manual, it should be 126 volts to cut 3 8 plate. So we're going to go ahead and go to A. A is the uh, voltage. We're going to set to 126. We're going to hit enter. Now that will automatically float our head to the perfect specifications allowed by hypertherm to cut this 3 8 plate. The cleanest. Okay, now to show you it working correctly, I have loaded a sample cut. It's one inch by one inch square with leading tails and start tails. We're going to go ahead and set our feed speed to what the book recommends, which is 1680. And apply. We're going to go ahead and cut this bad boy. Let's see how she works. Now, the LED screen will show you the actual voltage so you'll know if it's working correctly. That includes the fix for the Start MicroStep THC SHHC30, and this would probably work for many other Start torch head controllers that are on the market. I spent over 50 hours trying to figure out how to do this fix. I hope this video is helpful to anybody out there like myself. I would have paid money for a video like this. So if you guys enjoyed, please feel free to click the like button and thank you for watching.